Hi everyone. I have read your discussion boards and your reflective exercises and have posted feedback in Blackboard. I want you to take some time before you finish your final paper to go in and read the feedback that is being provided to you. Your final paper is your last opportunity to really demonstrate that you've pulled all the APA formatting concepts together and that you're demonstrating a, a strong synthesis of information that is coming from the course. So think through your paper as you work towards um, finishing that this week. Um, from a a content standpoint, the reflective exercises I think were, were fairly successful. Looking at nurse um, indicators related to quality, I think spreads the gamut um, from very specific things like hospital acquired infections all the way to communication skills or satisfaction. Um, you guys had some great insights and, and some good ideas with that. Um, your discussion board that you were asked to think about um, what to, to talk about the calling you had for nursing and to reflect on what that looked like for you in a, in a professional way um, and in, also in a personal way. My, um, we, you all talked about challenges. It was another component of the assignment. And many of you talked about the challenges of providing end of life care or supporting end of life decisions and the challenges when your own faith or your own values or your own ethics were in conflict with the decision that a family was making. Um, the other thing that came up several times were, was lateral violence or, or hospital bullying within um, colleagues and, and the discussion of, of how that impacted um, the challenge of working in that environment. So there were lots of good ideas there. The um, calling concept was um, very interesting. I love reading your stories. I love knowing how you felt um, you were supposed to be a nurse. I wish I had some of your glamorous stories. Um, my calling to nursing was really a, a quiet um, whisper in my ear that um, came in a community college. I was a 18 year old single mom. Um, I had a very small baby and I went to the counselor and I said, what career can I do that I can take care of this little girl and not be this afraid ever again? Um, and the, the counselor suggested that I think about their associate degree program in nursing. And I, I don't know whether I was more stunned or humored by that. I was the same person that passed out across the chairs whenever they took my blood. Or if I saw something um, that was gory, I would get queasy. Me being a nurse um, was not a fabulous idea. I went home and shared this with my family. Um, and my mom laughed and she says, you know, certainly there must be something else. Um, but I decided that if that was going to be the career field that was going to take care of Laura and I, that, that I would, I could do anything. Um, and 23 years later, anything has turned out to be a beautiful career and a calling that I don't know that I understood God's calling in my life at that time, but he did. He knew where I was supposed to be. And I loved reading your journeys of how you knew you were supposed to be um, in this wonderful profession. Um, I have to, to share one from your, from your classmate, Angie. Um, she wrote that, um, she said, I remember being five years old and being outside with my dad. He was a farrier and happened to be putting shoes on our horse. I had no idea that's what a farrier was. He misjudged and drove a horse shoe nail through his hand. That's when I, as your instructor, got a little lightheaded and queasy. She went on to say that my dad thought I was frightened because I ran inside our house when I realized what what happened. Dad was to, dad was surprised to see that I returned a few minutes later with band-aids and hydrogen peroxide. From that day on, my family always said I would be a nurse. I do not remember having any kind of extravagant thought or realization that I would should become a nurse. However, I just always felt like I would be a nurse. Um, I love that story with Angie, you know, talking about being, you know, this five-year-old Florence Nightingale. I personally would have just passed out um, and been a secondary victim. Um, so it's always interesting to see all of our different strengths and our different, different talents. So I so appreciate Angie, um, your classmate, sharing that. When we um, start wrapping up this course, 
you are um, going to have the opportunity to do a course evaluation. I value your feedback. My hope is that throughout this course, if there were concerns or there were things that were you were struggling with or that was going well, that you felt comfortable contacting me and saying, you know, Dr. Hudgens, these are the areas that I'm struggling with, or this is what I need help with, or I'm really frustrated with this. Um, I want you to put in co to complete the course evaluations. I value your feedback. It's the only way I'm going to grow and develop. So um, please share your constructive feedback for the course and for, for how I've been able to, to meet your needs or, or hopefully that I've, that I've been able to meet them. But if not, um, please tell me how you would suggest making changes. Um, also note, I sent this in the, in the weekly uh, virtue announcement. I have extended your due date for your final paper. The, the closing of the course is this Friday. That is a Liberty University hard deadline. So it's going to close on Friday. I am not going to grade anything until next week. I have plans this weekend. So I'm giving you until Sunday at 1159 to turn in your last paper. Please know that when you turn it in, Blackboard is going to tell you that it is late. I know it's late. It's not late. I am giving you that extension. So it's going to give you a warning, push it through, and you're going to be fine. There's not a late penalty for turning it in at Sunday. Know that 11.59 on Sunday, I will not accept anything Monday at 12.01. Um, the, the extension of that 48 hours is as much grace as I can give you. The hard stop in the course is um, by Liberty Standards Friday. I'm going to eke it across 48 hours for you. Um, let's see, anything else I need to tell you? Oh, be aware that there appears to be a blackboard gremlin that is slowing down posts. It took forever to grade things today um, because the inline grading feature was delayed. I spoke with the IT folks and they said they're, they're seeing it being experienced on both sides. Do not wait until 1145 on Sunday to try to post your assignment. I would highly encourage you to give yourself an hour in case Blackboard decides to spin out in the Ethernet for 45 minutes. Do not put yourself up against the wall. Again, 11.59 is the hard deadline. I will not accept assignments that are emailed to me. They have to be in Blackboard at the deadline. Um, and know that Blackboard is hiccuping so that you need to plan accordingly. Um, I think that's it. I think there were odds and ends of, of um, APA formatting things, but I think those were more of you had two assignments this week and maybe or maybe attention to detail was not as fabulous. Um, so I'm not going to belabor the point. I am going to um, wrap up. Please know um, that you will. Pro this will probably be the last video you get from me. Um, I'll send you an email and let you know that the um, final grades are posted and that they're posted on your website. Um, but otherwise, you know, if there's questions or concerns, um, touch base. Otherwise, it has been my pleasure teaching you and supporting you in this class. I look forward to seeing you again. Um, if you're trying to, to never see me again, I do teach um, 624. So I'm looking forward to seeing you. Um, if there's anything I can do to support your success, know that I'm here um, and I'm praying for you and, and truly hoping for your success. I hope you guys have a great week. It's going to be fabulous weather here. We're going to have 70s. So hopefully the, the puppy who is currently on her walk with her pop um, is enjoying it. But hopefully tomorrow will be my day to walk her. You all take care. Bye.